I've heard you say many times, you can't go back once you launch a desire. You cannot not want what you want. Well, it's because with each exploration, there is an expansion that occurs that the larger part of you experiences and holds steady to. So if you are to remain in concert with the larger part of you, you cannot settle back into something less than what you've become without discord. Let me attempt uh, to say something and please correct me if, if I'm not totally wrong um, or if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, desiring something very, very, very much means you're not in vibrational sync with the receiving of it. Well, that very, 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 very emphasis indicates that it must be very, very, very difficult and I must have to try very, 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 very hard because it has been very, very, very not coming very, 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 very long. So you're very, very, very right. I'm very, very, very pleased. Uh, so the work is to work the vibration in such a way that the very powerful desire becomes a preference we th yes but we we think that the way to approach this is by acknowledging the basis that you do understand that the fact that the desire exists within you means that in large part it has been accomplished and that the only thing that is keeping it from coming all the way home to you is that there is a vibrational resistance that is solely based upon your observation that it has not come yet Here's the best analogy that we can give you that will soften this, maybe soothe it all together for you. Let's say you're $100,000 in debt and you want to be $100,000 in the black. Well, that's unlikely that it's going to happen today. It's sort of the falling out of the airplane thing. The momentum is sort of underway. But it is completely possible to... So that's a pivot that's too extreme. But it's completely possible to pivot from worrying about money to feeling appreciation for your current situation. You can accomplish that within five or ten minutes. So if you are not married to the outcome and are completely desirous of the shift in the emotion, which you can accomplish now and now and now and now and now before long as you make this an emotional journey you will have done enough vibrational shifting that that hundred thousand dollars can flow easily into your experience or two hundred thousand dollars can flow easily into your experience yeah. It's the vibe is we're, we're trying to convince you to be vibrational beings, which means we want to convince you to be emotional beings, which means we want you to care about the way you feel, not, not so much, ah, here it is. We want, ah, we're just going to savor it for a while. We want your happiness to not be conditional on outcome. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you hear it? Mm. If, if you make it conditional on the outcome, then the fact that the outcome hasn't come, now you shoot yourself in the foot because you're uneasy, which means you're messing up your vibrational climate, which means it's not coming more now. But if, if you're not making your vibrational climate the way you feel right now, contingent upon or conditional on that outcome or that outcome, you're just making it conditional on wanting to feel good period now you accomplish that emotional shift and now in the sustaining of that emotional shift the realization of all of that must come it is law we have never said it better and it is unlikely that we ever will say it better and the best part is you heard it can i get into a specific example of yeah. something I'm working on and, and playing with yeah um, I'm originally from Lebanon my family's over there I've gone through years of war when I'm, when I was younger so I know what it feels like and it's not fun and they have all right so all of this conversation interesting but not conducive to the 
to the creating of the vibrational atmosphere that we were talking about. However, it makes you understand where, where I'm coming from. Well, we don't. You you began this conversation by saying you can't go back. So why are you making us go back to where you've come from? Because I'm doing a process and I wanted to, to share it and get some fine tuning about it. Where this is fine tuning here. <laughs> so I visualize once I'm at a stage of feeling really good and I never do it before. But, I, here, but here's the thing. We're going to interrupt you because right. it can be easier. If you can visualize feeling good over something less challenging to feel good about pretty soon, you'll be able to feel good about anything. But if you take the hardest thing that is the most challenging and you try to visualize in order to feel good, you just make it harder for yourself and it takes, it makes the process longer. Yes. And we, we know it's, a, it's such an interesting thing that when life has given you such contrast, that's caused such big desires. It just feels crazy to hear someone like Abraham say, that's not the best place to start. That's the hardest place to start. Start on a place that has less resistance. That really is sort of like being at the bottom of the hill, trying to stop the car and then saying, well, Abraham, the car keeps running over the top of me. Can you give me a better process? And we say, yeah, go up to the top of the hill before the car is rolling so hard. And you say, but you don't understand, Abraham. I, I, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And that's what I have to deal with. And we say, no, it isn't. That's not where you're at. And that's not what you have to deal with. And you will not deal with it if you start with the things that is the hardest to deal with. I don't start with that. I finish with that. And All right, start, all right, okay, we, we accept that. So start somewhere else then. Start, start there now with us. I finish my daily process with this specificness and with the deliberate intent of making a little difference. Well, that's, that's nice. And, uh, and when you get there, if you're all full of exhilaration, then you accomplished it. Well, you want to run us through it? Start it. Start I, I, I would love to. Yeah. We'll, we'll listen and we'll fine tune with you. Sure. Um, I meditate. I find general emotional words that make me feel higher and excellent higher and higher. give us some give us some here perfect and then give I, us some of those words here yes uh, with pleasure I, I, I haven't done it today yet because it's early so perfect I, time I, I'm happy to perfect time ease simplicity cooperation um, knowingness uh, allowing eagerness um, peace, serenity, um, enthusiasm. So then, so then slow it down and, and uh, milk it a little more. I love the ease of my world. I love knowing what I know about vibration. I love knowing that it's about frequency and that I can focus. I love the ease that I'm able to frequently accomplish. I love setting this time aside in order to find this feeling of ease. I so love knowing the laws of the universe. I so love understanding my vibrational nature. I so love my understanding of focus and momentum. I love that I can begin this day in a vibration of well-being and ease. I really like knowing the sources surrounding me and everyone else that all who I love is surrounded by this ease. I love activating it in myself in a way that I recognize it and can feel it fully and really own it. I love knowing that I will be guided to perfect thoughts and behaviors when timing is perfect for doing that. And meanwhile, I sit in ease and eagerness and appreciation for all that is to come. I'm happy about where I stand and eager about what's coming. I know that there are many who are seeking what I'm coming to know. And I'm so pleased that I'm demonstrating it in my own experience in a way that it will be evident in all regards to those who behold me. I feel so happy that I'm able to leave conditions out of the equation of my ease, that I'm able to just find ease by the power of my focus. I so adore non-physical energy who I believe is flowing with ease and perfection around all that is. 
I love contemplating that there is this atmosphere of well-being that is focused to all of us and to the degree that we find ease and allow it in we are experiencing this well-being I just love it when my ease begins to expand when I begin to feel the momentum of my vibration increasing to where I begin to feel a sort of eagerness about things not an eagerness that inspires me to action right now but an eagerness of what's coming a sort of optimistic renewal is happening within me and while I know that the timing of action isn't quite yet I know it is coming and meanwhile I feel comfortable in this optimism that is beginning to build within me it feels to me as if I have access the power that creates worlds and I'm able to focus it and I'm loving learning the balance of that focusing because as I focus with alignment I can feel that I continue to allow the energy to flow to me and through me it is so exciting to me to get into this place of utter well-being and then to begin shining it through my focus in the direction of things that matter to me and I'm adoring this understanding of this unconditional love and focus and energy that's coming to me and I'm finding my way bit by bit I'm finding myself more capable of not putting conditions in my way that block this energy flow I know that I'm getting the handle on this energy flow and I know that I am proficient more proficient in every day as a result of my focus sometimes I get excited and I want to run out ahead of it but always when that feeling comes I can feel uneasiness sort of guide me a little bit and I realize that not quite yet don't act quite yet sit in the knowing of this yet longer find the vibrational alignment of it and watch how my desire is inspiring others to behavior I'm now understanding that my desire does not mean only that I will be inspired to the action that that will then make change I understand that my desire and my holding of this place causes more of a likelihood for others to find the same and the same and the same so it is a larger movement than me just tapping in and doing something about it it's me priming the pump it's me setting the tone it's me finding the place of it it's me shining the light it's me asking the questions it's me readying myself and then it's me watching the results of having accomplished that vibrational environment every day I love finding this place and every day I love watching the results of the place that I found and I am eager to get out and watch that greater expansion and watch the details of that but meanwhile I'm just watching what's happening in my world right here around me right here around me as I show myself this leverage that I am activating as I tap into this energy that creates worlds I believe with everything that I am that I can be or do or have anything that I can influence anything that I desire and I'm so appreciative of the life experience that I have lived that's caused me to focus upon some things that are really important to me and right now I can feel that this is my step three moment this is when I really understand what allowing source energy to flow to me and through me is and I'm eager to get on with step four and I'm doing it a little bit every day but step three is where I reside right now this is the work for me to do so there's no impatience on my part because there isn't anything for me to do I'm not being called to do something I'm not ready to do in fact I will never be called to do something that I'm not ready to do and when I try to push myself to do something that I'm not ready to do that's where the vibrational imbalance comes in so nice to know that source has my back so nice to know that the things that matter to me are underway and so nice to know that my work is to hold this place to hold this knowing and not try to take the role of source not try to be all things to all people not try to be the heart of any movement in the sense of action but be to be the vibrational heart of the movement that is being asked for by the masses I understand that I'm not the only one who put desire in my vortex there are hundreds of thousands and millions and billions of people who have put desire in their vortex that I am helping as I find and own this vibrational place of allowing source energy to do what source energy knows how to do I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and I'm loving my exposure to this life 
and what it provides for me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.